This is the Transformers Generations Studio Series from the movie Transformers the Movie. We have Core Class Ironhide. Here's a look at the packaging. I picked up this figure from Robo Robo. Let's get this guy out of packaging. And here is Core Class Ironhide out of the box. And yeah, he's pretty good actually. Uh, straight up redeco of Core Class Ratchet from the same Studio Series line. I should say Studio Series 86, but the box doesn't say that. It's from the 1986 movie. And yeah, he looks he looks pretty good. Plastic quality, no complaints. Uh, paint apps, just brilliant. Uh, the new head sculpt uh, is looking pretty good. Yeah, it is. It's very G1 Ironhide. Even the colors are very G1 Ironhide. I've been a big fan of this sculpt since Ratchet, so there's really no reason for me to hate this figure. Not not a lot of complaints uh, on this figure. And for comparisons, here he is with the original version of the mold. We've got Core Class Studio Series Ratchet, and we've got the Studio Series Voyager Class Ironhide. Now, is it just me, or does the Core Class Ironhide look more G1 in aesthetic than the Voyager Ironhide. I mean, this is a pretty good figure, but the way this thing's been sculpted, especially the chest and the head sculpt, I, it's giving me more, more G1 cartoon vibes than the, uh, the Voyager class figure, which is weird. So here's a close-up look at the head sculpts. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of like the core class head sculpt more. I don't know, it's a little more stylized. Um, this one obviously is smoother and more cartoony looking, but I do like this one. So both figures retain the same body mold, uh, except for that back part, instead of a light bar, it's just a flat roof. Both of them still have the same weapons, except for Ironhide, it's done in red plastic, while uh, Ratchet is white plastic and they've both been painted silver. Uh, Ironhide silver paint, I think, is more metallic than Ratchet, or a darker shade of silver. Let me, let me just compare it. Let's see, yeah, I think Ratchet has a lighter shade of silver, or yeah, it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Okay, uh, the wheels seem to be the same, and you've got a brand new head sculpt. Obviously, it's Ironhide instead of Ratchet. The shoulders have been painted this flat gray instead of the. Uh, medical Autobot faction symbol. Silver paint on the bumper looks to be the same. Plastic quality is the same, nothing nothing deteriorated or anything like that. Uh, the joints seem to be tight, or as tight as can be, not loose, so no mold degradation. On to transformation, in case you didn't, you haven't seen the transformation of Ratchet, he transforms exactly the same way. So start with the head sculpt, fold, squeeze that in. The uh, shoulders, arms, and a tab in. Okay. Rotate these pieces right here. Rotate. Move the waist piece up. Fold up these roof pieces. And fold panels. Fold these. And there you go. There is Core Class Ironhide in his uh, cherry vanette. Oh, oh, he rolls very, very nicely. You can plug the guns here. It's pretty cool. I love the smooth roof. Uh, mine, on my copy, doesn't. It's not as flush as I hoped it would be, but it's okay. Yeah, still rolls very nicely. Uh, not a lot of complaints, except for the fact that it's missing some paint apps for the windows here and there. Maybe a yellow stripe, but what can you do? It's a core class figure. They've got only so much budget that they can squeeze into the small figure. And I think they put the budget where they sh where I think they, they, they could put it best. And that's the engineering and sculpt. So paint apps had to suffer. No biggie. I love it. I love it just the same. <laughs> Some final thoughts on this Core Class Studio Series Ironhide. I mean, it's a great redeco. It's a great figure. Uh, both figures were amazing to me. I love the mold, so I'm pretty happy with this one. The only comment, I, like I said, 
in the video is that it's missing some paint apps, but it's the same thing with Ratchet. And I guess uh, that's where they had to cut the budget. They had to put all the budget in the engineering and in the sculpt. So I think it's a fair trade. A lot of customizers can remedy the lack of paint apps. If you're really into the core class or legend scale of, of Generations Transformers, then this new Ironhide figure is a definite must-have and an absolutely amazing pickup. Uh, if you're not into the legend scale or this kind of small-scaled uh, Transformers, then obviously this is not for you. But both figures were actually pretty good and i'd like to commend the designers uh, for these figures i mean the core class figures are just really getting better with each new release and i cannot wait to see more the figure is going to get a 10 out of 10. let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this transformers studio series from the 1986 movie transformers the movie core class Ironhide. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.